Are you overwhelmed by all the new processor and do not know which one to pick for your next PC build? Then not to worry guys, you are not alone. Today on Negitech, we will talk about some of latest offering from AMD and Intel counterpart and we will try to understand it in a simpler form and I will also try to give you let's say if I'm talking about an AMD processor then I'm gonna also let you know the comparable Intel processor such that if you want to go with Intel processor or Team Blue so that you can do that but before we begin let's start with a very basics of processor so if I talk about processor although Snapdragon is now coming in but still AMD and Intel are the two biggest player in processor world. You can think of AMD and Intel as two main chefs in the kitchen and they both make CPUs which are brain of your computer. But just like Chef, they have different recipes, uh, which means that they have their own strength. And in this video, as I said before, we will see their processor launches from 2022 to 2024, and we will see their comparable counterpart. For example, what is alternative available in Intel? For example, if I talk about Ryzen 9 7950X, which was launched in 2022, the comparable counterpart in Intel Intel is Core i9-12900K. Like this, we will see all their major processor from 2022 to 2024. Now, as we were talking about Ryzen 9 7950X and Core i9-12900K, if we talk about the generation here, um, you might understood from Intel, it is 12th generation Alderic CPU. Uh, when we talk about AMD, then this is Gen 4 series. And if we talk about lithography, here in case of AMD they were using 5 nanometer node however in Intel they call it Intel 7 but in actual the node is 10 nanometer if we talk about TDP of Ryzen 9 7950X which is around 170 watt however the TDP of Intel one is around 125 watt which is base TDP and can go up to whopping 241 watt so here we can clearly see the AMD processor should be much more efficient than Intel one since AMD has got only 5 nanometer not however the Intel have got 10 nanometer not but again I would say it depend on application to application AMD processor perform generally better in case of multi-threaded load however the Intel processor generally perform better in case of single threaded load for example games and then again understanding the processor is not that simple that if somebody is following let's say 5 nanometer node will be better in every aspect which is for example IPC or instruction per clock in this aspect Intel is still better than AMD and in most of scenario Intel is considered slightly more reliable compared to AMD now let's talk about next processor from AMD which is Ryzen 9 7900X which is comparable to 12th generation core i9 129 then let's talk about AMD Ryzen 7 7700X which is comparable to Intel Core i7 12700K. Now let's talk about Ryzen 5 7600X which is comparable to Intel Core i5 12600K. Now let's talk about processors that were released in 2023. From AMD side again I would say they have refreshed their processor for example in 2023 the Ryzen 7950X now becomes 7950X3D which is comparable to 13th generation Intel Core i9-13900K and this Intel 13th generation series is also known as Rapture Lape. However, in case of AMD, it is still a Gen 4 processor. If we talk about the manufacturing node here, then both AMD and Intel continue to utilize their existing lithography, which is 5 nanometer and 10 nanometer. Now let's talk about the next processor, which is Ryzen 7 7800X 
3D, which is comparable to Intel 13th generation Core i7-13700K. Then the next processor from AMD is Ryzen 7 7700. From Intel side, it could be equivalent to i7-13700. Then um, there is another processor, uh, which is Ryzen 7 7700F, which is equivalent to Intel Core i7-13700. F and the F here signifies in both the system that they do not come with integrated graphics. Now let's talk about Ryzen 5 7600 which is equivalent to i5-13600K then a Ryzen 5 7500F which again kind of equivalent to i5-13600KF now let's talk about 2024 processor here so from AMD now we have got a Gen 5 series from Intel it is a Meteor Lake processor if we talk about manufacturing node then in case of AMD now it is a more efficient 4 nanometer not from 5 nanometer not however in case of intel in meteor lake also intel is using same further optimized 10 nanometer not that is also known as intel 7 now let's talk about the processor here the first processor is amd ryzen 9 9950x of which if we want to see the intel counterpart which is core i9 14900k and again you know if i am talking about intel counterpart it really doesn't matter in terms of performance whether intel could defeat this amd counterpart or not i'm just talking about the amd counterpart in intel now let's talk about the next processor here which is ryzen 9 9900x if we talk about the intel counterpart then it would be the non-k variant of core i9 then let's talk about 9700x then in case of uh, intel it would be uh, 14 generation of core i7 14700k then let's talk about ryzen 5 9600x and in that case you can see Core i5 14600K. Now let's talk about desktop grade processor in AMD, which is 8000 series of desktop processor. So starting with Ryzen 7 8700G, which is almost equal to Core i7 14700K. If we talk about Ryzen 5 8600G, then it is equivalent to Intel Core i5 14600K. And if we talk about Ryzen 5 8500Z, you can compare it with Intel Core i5 14600. Then let's talk about Ryzen 3 8300Z, which is almost equivalent to Core i3 14400. Then in case of Ryzen, we may also see the Ryzen 7 Pro processor, for example, Pro 8700ZE, Pro 8600ZE, Pro 8500ZE, which is almost equivalent to 14th generation of Core i7 and Core i5 processor. So it seems that in terms of manufacturing process, AMD is far ahead compared to Intel. However, if we talk about the new generation of Intel that going to launch in a late 2024, we will see much improved manufacturing process, which is just two nanometer class node. This will include significant architectural change in Arrow Lake processors such as use of ribbon fed transistor and power via technology and we will also talk about arrow lake series of processor in our upcoming video i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational and might have given you the glimpse of amd and intel counterparts if you like this video then i would consider you to subscribe to negi tech to see more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye